Welcome to another episode of Tips from the Swamp by Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists Incorporated. Today we're going to be looking at the MIM or Maxi Interface Module which is part of the Rainbird Central Control System. We're going to be going over what the different switches and lights represent so that you know how to use it. The first thing we look at is when you first plug your MIM in and it gets completely set up, you will have a status light, which is right here, flashing. Next to that status light is an RD light and an SD light. That's the receive and send lights. Anytime there is activity where it's causing transmissions to go back and forth from the computer, those lights will flash. So now, as you see, when I turn on the program at the computer, you'll notice that the RD SD lights flash very quickly and then settle in. And when they stop, if you check your computer, you will find that it is locked into the MIM. If the RD SD lights do not flash, <clears throat> or the status light comes up holding solid when you first fire it up, or RD SD do not flash when you try and access with the computer, there is a problem in the maxi unit and the CPU board which is the small board needs to be removed and sent to be repaired by a company like Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists or you can send it to Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists and we will repair that for you and get it back to you. The only other two possibilities is on that board there is a switch marked A and B if it's in the wrong position, it will not connect. Try it in the other position. The only other possibility is a bad phone cord. Okay, now, the next thing we need to look at is the group and channel indicators, which I'm going to move in on those right now, which are these video switches right here. You'll notice that the group one is set to two. It's because the field unit we're talking to is in wire group two. And the channel is set to two, or zero two. That indicates that it's satellite number two, which would be the satellite ID on that unit. If those are set correct and you operate from the central, you'll have light indicators that represent what's going on with that unit. Let me back this up now. Now, before I turn anything on, I want you to be aware of something. Over here, see where the light indicator is? There's four switches. They say on and off. Those are for your four wire groups. So you can turn a single wire group off and work on it, or you can turn one off so it doesn't communicate. If there's no wire group attached to it, you can leave it off. The reality of those switches, however, is those are actually circuit breakers. So if there is a short in that wire group that would come back and damage the MIM, it will trip that circuit breaker off, which if you come in and you notice that, then you know you have a problem in that wire group and you need to solve it before you flip it back on. Because if you turn it back on, the problem is not solved, it will trip itself off again. The next switch that we look at is up here. This switch is marked on, off, and it's for memory. In the off position, this unit will run. It'll go through whatever cycles you program manually or otherwise. When it's done, it's done. There's no light indicators of what has happened. If you put it in memory on, it will remember and light up the lights that correspond to the last actions taken on this unit. For example, I'm going to turn that memory switch on. Now I'm going to turn on several stations on that particular satellite. Again, that's group two, satellite two, and we'll turn on six stations. 
and you'll notice that the station activity lights flash until we get returned communication and the group activity light was flashing until we got group activity. The other thing that we can do is switch from station activity to channel activity and that tells us that the number two ID satellite, which is your channel, is what is operating. We'll slip this back down so now we can see that it's all six stations that are operating. I'm going to turn those off now. Take it a moment, it'll communicate. It will turn them off. But you'll notice that the indicator lights stayed on. That's because your memory switch is in the on position and it now remembers the last thing that it did. The memory will maintain memory of whatever the last activities were. If you leave it on and you come in in the morning, it will tell you with the lights what satellites ran, what stations ran, because they'll be locked on and it'll give you an indicator of if your system ran correctly. Now if we turn that memory switch off, you'll notice that all the lights went back out. And if you leave it off and you turn stations on, such as I'm doing now, they'll flash until they get retrieval of communication that all are running. And if all are running, they'll run for whatever time you set on the computer. Now I'm going to turn them off. And you'll notice that all of the station activity lights turned off. That's because the memory switch is off. If we give it a moment, the group two light will also turn off. Such as it did there. Now, the other thing that we can do with this unit, you'll notice there's a switch here that says mode. It has a manual mode and an automatic mode. If we turn this on to the manual mode, you'll notice there's a light indicator and a light indicator over by these switches. Now I can push this switch and it turned on the first station of Group 2 Satellite 2. I can advance to another station. I can advance through all stations that are active on this satellite. And that way you can manually run it if your computer is down. If I hit the cancel button, it will turn them all off and it will be then shut down. Now we go back to the automatic mode so that we can operate this from the central computer. If there's any issues that you have or things are not operating correctly, you have lights staying on that are not supposed to be staying on. If the RDSD lights are not flashing when you try and send commands, it says there is a failure in this Maxi interface module and you need to send in the unit or repair by Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists Incorporated. If you know there's a problem and you know it's one specific board, such as the CPU board, which is the thinking board, then you need to send just that board in to get repaired at Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists. Hopefully this has been a helpful tip on the use of the Maxi interface module, commonly known as the MIM. This is Jim with Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists. And you can visit us on our website at absolutecontrol.com. Uh, that is absolute-control.com.
please contact us for further information or if we can be of any further assistance. Thank you very much.